Bonjour, messieurs dames. I couldn't watch most of the GS in Cochevet today, so I'm not going to compare and say this is why she's faster and this is why that's faster, blah, blah. Instead, I will just use the winning run from Marta Pacino to point out an underestimated technical detail. What technical detail, you're asking? I'm talking about her transition. Or actually, I'll just show you her position between turns and you'll immediately get an idea of what I'm trying to point out. So, as we can see in the first pitch, her position between turns looks quite normal. Upper body is stable, hands in front of her is literally the alpine basic position with slightly more bent knees and hips. The next turn her position is pretty much the same, just a little lower. Uh, on a quick side note, the tips of her skis are slightly lifted off the ground, which does not necessarily mean that she is too far back, but rather that she brings her center of gravity further forward. In the beginning of the turn, your center of gravity should be more forward than towards the end. And in the transition, you bring your weight to the front again. That's why she lifts up the tips of her skis a bit. So, back to the topic. Third transition, very, very similar to the second one. Fourth one is done with a slightly higher hip again. Uh, then we have a similar one again. Uh, the arm position varies a bit, but her body position is um, pretty much the same. Uh, throughout so you're probably wondering now Where am I going with this right? I believe that much of her consistency and stability Comes from this very basic idea of being centered in the transition Of course, I could have used other top athletes uh, as well, but Marta is such a well-rounded Stable skier that it seems to me that she's a great example for this concept now, how can you practice it? Well, simply try to have a teeny tiny moment in the transition where your position looks exactly like hers. Okay? Uh, first do it in slow skiing, then free skiing, and then gates. Uh, film yourself, or let yourself be filmed, obviously. Uh, and then have a look at the video and pause it exactly in the transition and see what your position looks like. Uh, it's very... Yeah, it's key that you that you get this right, and you'll notice that when your, when your transitions are more stable, the rest of the turn are also more stable. Okay, now I've used stable so many times that you're probably tired of hearing it, so I'll leave you with stable, 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 stable. Uh, I wish you a great day, and see you in the next video. Au revoir.